Boron production is used in the manufacture of borosilicate glass, certified approximately, to prevent the glass crack that conventional soda glass suffers from thermal shock. The explanation for this behavior consists of the replacement of sodium ions in the glass structure by boron atoms, reducing drastically the degree of glass expansion, formally called thermal expansivity, in comparison with conventional glass. As a result, containers made of borosilicate glass sold under trademarks such as Pyrex or Durand are capable of being heated without great danger of cracking. It is widely used in chemical laboratories and kitchen. The sodium peroxoborate salt is used in laundry industry as color safe bleaching alternative and as ingredient of these washing powders and tablets. This application is based on its power as an oxidation agent as a result of the two peroxo groups linking the boron atoms included in its ion. Last quantities of these bleaching components around 500 thousand tons of sodium peroxoborates are produced every year for European detergent manufacturing companies for washing machines. Boron nitride so many other applications. The main use is as thermal insulator given its low thermal expansion and its resistance to thermal shock. It consists of very long and crystalline tubes which are stable to high temperatures. These features have led to its use in industry to make high temperature crucibles. In addition to this, boron nitride nanotubes are more resistant than carbon nanotubes for high temperature conditions. Furthermore, the softness and sheen of powdered boron nitride in conjunction with the non-toxicity and the absence of hazards have allowed its application in the cosmetic and personal care industry, being added to many, many products, around 10% such as nail polishes and lipsticks to create a pearlescent sheen as well as to hide wrinkles. There are two important applications related with the nuclear chemistry of boron. The first one is that boron is an essential component to control nuclear reaction, considering that it is a strong absorber of neutrons. For that reason, boron containing control rods are lowered into reactor of nuclear power plants to maintain the nuclear reaction at a steady rate. The second application is of particular interest in the fighting of cancer in the context of inoperable brain tumors or as a means of killing any tiny cluster of tumor cells that remain following surgical removal of the main tumor. Boron chain neutron capture therapy is based on the exceptionally large effective cross-sectional area value for the boron atoms. This parameter measures how easy it is for a neutron to impact into the nucleus and for the boron atom is 3800 bar. 1000 times higher than that for hydrogen, carbon or nitrogen atom, major components in cells, converting to the boron atom therefore in an ideal target. When a neutron impacts into a boron 10 nucleus, the boron absorbs it and a boron 11 radionuclide is initially formed. This radionuclide presents a very short lifetime decaying into helium-4 and lithium-7 nuclei and releasing the corresponding energy which is sufficient to impel the two particles in opposite direction damaging whatever molecules they encounter. By delivering high concentration of boron compound specifically into malignant cells, around 1 billion boron atoms are needed to destroy a cell, these tumors can be treated. Several generations of boron containing precursors have been tested and the most promising agent currently under development consists of a large organic molecule with four, with four cage type borings linked. 
Boron is also an essential nutrient for all plants and the deficiency of this element can affect the growth of the plant. Boron also affects flowering and boron deficiency cause symptoms ranging from sterility to flower malformation. For that reason, it is usual to find large quantities of boras of kernite in fertilizers. Other relevant application of borax and boric acid is as flame retardant being present for example in cotton mattresses. Finally, boron is employed as a lowing element for steel. The low ferroboron with a 20% of boron is manufactured in electrometallurgical processes. It is also used as hardening of steel which is present in low quantities and can be used as substitute of chromium and nickel. This type of steel has been employed for agricultural machinery.